One of the things that uh, whenever I talk with my fellow Auditor Generals that they always challenge is the need to keep separate uh, the role of the Auditor General from other bodies, particularly those we audit like the uh, Future Generations. But the challenge of the Act uh, that we face is that it needs to, a joint working between the Office of the Future Generations Commissioner and the Wales Audit Office in order to deliver the legislation in Wales. And I think that's right. I think it does mean that you're going against the grain perhaps as an auditor, but out of it we've actually gained the ability to share, look at different uh, points of view and arrive and I think improve our audit approach. And of course all of that was summed up in terms of Sophie and myself signing a memorandum of understanding. Well I've worked really closely with the Commissioner's Office on a number of things, um, notably the pilot work um, and they've also helped um, inform the development of the year one commentary. Um, got really good working relationship with the office in general, uh, Helen Morgan and, and Mary Busso Navarro in particular um, and I find um, that as partners they are just so willing to help uh, whenever you've got a question, whenever you've got a problem, whenever you just want to think something through um, and that's been really useful uh, for both our offices as we try and work out and make sense of our responsibilities and, and kind of find a collective um, way of, of, of making sense of them and delivering on them. I think that what it has ha it's helped, certainly the involvement of the uh, Future Generations Commissioner has helped change the nature of our audit process. It was always important that this audit of the uh, Future Generations legislation should not be simply a repeat, some kind of tick list, um, an additional audit process. We needed to embed the her approach in the way we do our audit work across all organisations. So it hasn't been an easy process and it has required the kind of debate, the sharing with the pilot sites and the involvement of the Future Generations Commissioner. The partnership working isn't anything new. But at the same time, the Act challenges public bodies to go further and do more and do it in a different way. Um, so everybody knows the value of partnership working um, and the Commissioner's Office and our office have a responsibility to support the right kind of behaviour change um, and promote the right kind of collaborative activity. The Commissioner's Office have obviously provided lots of advice to um, public service boards, um, they've worked with them, they've engaged with national networks, the PSB coordinators for example, um, and they've also helped us with our thinking on how do we actually assess collaboration, what are good collaborative behaviours behaviours um, and how do we look for them and how do we test for them and we've done a lot of that thinking with the Torvine Public Service Board as well but having the Commissioners off there as, as critical friends um, to help us develop that thinking has been really positive. No single body in Wales is capable of discharging what Wales needs. We have to work together, that is a given. We need to challenge the way in which organisations do work together to make sure they're working effectively, that there isn't a leaving of a, somebody at a boundary. And I think that particularly as we go forward with the audit work, we and together, the uh, Auditor General and Future Generations Commissioner, need to be challenging organisations in Wales to really work together, because otherwise you're not going to transform services in Wales.